Hey everyone, just before I start this video, I just want to tell everyone that's watching this video, if you're thinking of starting out in Honkai Impact, now is the perfect time to jump in. There's an anniversary event ongoing right now in Honkai Impact, which nets you one of the Hershers, which is one of the strongest characters in the game for free, by just doing daily missions, logging in and stuff. So if you're thinking of jumping into Honkai Impact, I believe now is the perfect time to do so. Just a little heads up for all of you and enjoy the video. Hey what's going on everyone it's Argus and today I'm just gonna bring you a little bit of a beginner's guide just for the people who's just starting out or thinking to start out in Honkai Impact. Uh, this is gonna be going through um, just the UI in the game because just logging into the game and looking at the UI is one of the major things that got me really confused when I started in the game and I do think um, going through the UI is pretty helpful when you're starting out in this game. I just want to get um, a lot of the aspiring Honkai players out there who's very interested in the game I just want them to um, kind of just make it a little bit easier for the people who want to actually get into to the game. So when you first download the game and install it, um, this is the first screen that you're going to be seeing, right? So first up, you're going to create an account. And then when that's done, this is the screen next. It's your username and then you just tap it. So let's actually get into the game so I can get to explaining the UI. Here's the UI, right? When you log into the game, there's a bunch of buttons everywhere. When I got into a Honkai Impact, this is the first thing that actually overwhelmed me because there is just so much stuff here, right? It's it's very confusing. So I'm gonna get into it and um, piece it out for you, um, which is the most important thing. All of this are important, but just gonna give you context on what you eat, each of this do because there are some buttons where it's kind of hidden. Like example, the battle pass elite workshop that one took me a while to find where it was first up i'll start up top and work my way down all right so first up up here is going to be where your username is this is clickable so if you click it this is where you can edit your account your profile you can change your name you can change your info <laughs> this is my signature you can change your signature you can change your bridge and this is the videos the cg videos and stuff like that so basically your account information so that's the first um, button right there this is the battle pass now if you get into the battle pass um you could also access it to another means which is i will explain it another time but this is the battle pass this is the rewards that you can get from the battle pass it's seasonal and this is the length of how long the battle passes and this is what I was talking about battle pass has their own shop which is the elite works the only way you can access it is through here you cannot go to, to the shop the main shop page to access this you have to go to the battle pass itself and it took me a while to actually learn where the elite works is so this is the elite works in the battle pass you can get a lot of the battle pass items this stuff are really important but I wouldn't go through with this right now because, I mean, there's really a lot of stuff in here. A lot of currencies that, and a lot of weapons and stuff. These are important weapons, which I won't really go through right now because this is very long and it's very daunting at first. So don't worry about this right now when you're just starting. So that's the left side up here that we just talked about. Next up, next up is this three here up top. So first up, this is the stamina bar. So stamina bar is basically, uh, you can, I uh, mean, use a stamina item to re replenish it. You could use uh, exchange stamina for crystals and you can get, you know, more stamina. So stamina, if you haven't played gacha games, is, is basically a currency that you use to be able to play the game. So it's basically, in order to progress you need stamina and it refreshes over time so as time passes by real life time right so that's stamina next this is this is the coin this is the general currency of the game 
is basically not used that much. It's it's mainly for upgrading your Valkyries abilities, which cost hundreds and thousands of um, coins. So that's what the coins are. But it's it's usable. You can exchange it with some materials in the shop. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through into that. Kurt, and this is crystals. This is the crystals is one of the premium currencies in the game but this is this is obtainable in game and through events and if you haven't finished the story you get an abundance of them in the store missions so yeah this is the this is basically the premium currency in the game up next is up here on the left this is the mission tab. so if you click the mission tab you can see four tabs on the, on the left side here so when you start the game i highly recommend doing story missions if you want to learn the story of the girls uh, of the honkai universe this is a tab that you should follow because if you follow it there is um, items actually that you start from here right there are items that the game gives you away for free down here there's three tabs down here this that's all rewards that you get so as you progress this is basically a benchmark on how you could progress your game so if you're starting the game this is a very important tab and you know just follow along with it and you'll see tabs here and it says go down here and then you just go and you learn what kind of mission you need to do in order to fulfill it next next up is the daily so this is basically a daily i've completed it i shouldn't have done it before this video started but i've already done so which is my bad i'm sorry you guys but yeah this is the daily tab which is basically a day you need 150 of those to get um i believe it's 40 40 or 50 crystals if you complete that duty a day it's like 150 duty for those and these are see if you need to do some stuff you just click go and it brings you to that activity right so if you're confused that's how i basically made my way with doing what i needed to do is just click go on these tabs and example commissions i'm not done this is for a clan so i'm not gonna go over this but um you get what i mean if you need to do something in the dailies and you don't know which part of the game to go to like which tab to click just click go the game gives you puts you in that specific spot that you need to go to next one is the rewards i this is the other tab for the battle pass so this is what i covered a while ago the battle pass so that there's two ways to enter it that the tab that we just been the missions tab or either the, the battle pass tab that was on the upper left hand side right there that i clicked a while ago <coughs> Down here are the battle pass missions. So if you buy the battle pass, there are stuff that you can do here, which is also, as you can see, there's another go. So if you don't know, clear go up stage with friends. Like, oh, where should I go, right? Just click it and the game basically brings you there. So up next, events. This is the most important tab in the game. And I think you should be up to track uh, at the event events tab because it's one of the most important things that you need to know when you're starting out on kai so if you click events um these are currently the events there is an amazing event going on right now um and if you're new i highly suggest um if you're picking up the game or thinking of picking it up now is the perfect time to jump in so yeah so this is basically where the events are multiple tabs right here if you click a tab it's going to show up on the right side here so yeah oops sorry i tabbed out <laughs> sorry about that yeah so that that's what i that's what the events tab are back out of there bonuses now bonuses is a daily sign in reward so this is what you click and the game gives you stuff for free now this stuff here uh i don't know if you're gonna be free to play or you don't mind spending a little dollar here and there but this is the stuff for if you want to buy stuff up in here for me my recommendation if you're a light spender get the monthly card the the game gives you every 15 days that you get 500 premium currency 
this is quite a hefty amount so this is actually pretty generous so in a month you get a thousand crystals which is really not you get 60 a day and you get a thousand of it a month so that's really good in my opinion and if you don't mind spending too growth fund is really good it gives you 4500 crystals and a bunch of coins this is what got my account started uh, I believe this is like 15 bucks and land of the wishes um, this is good for good cap for new captains if you really want to spend your gotcha luck you can get s rank valkyries in here but yeah this is very good in my opinion it's good it's very i i recommend this to people but um i just didn't roll enough for this because when you're a new player there's stuff in the supply here in the dorm that gives you more stuff but i'm not gonna go into it but that's basically the bonuses tab mailbox it's self-explanatory it's the news and where the where the developers like update us in the game Altio is basically uh, <laughs> this is basically where you top up stuff <laughs> so yeah I'm not gonna go into it so now we're on the right tab out here so the right tab is basically where you start your missions and where you basically equip your Valkyrie your stuff so attack is basically where everything is so as you can see there is an open world that you will unlock as you progress through the game there's the story as of uh, as of this recording as of uploading this video uh, I'm currently at chapter 9 there's 22 chapters right now in the game and it's pretty long it's pretty long so and there's raids as well oops sorry I didn't mean to go down there there's raids there's chronicles and this is the materials so this is the first tab challenge is basically this is the this is basically um for the high-end players once you get to a certain level you get access to bounties where you, you spend tickets to get bounty marks and you could play co-op with other players and you both get rewards from it there are abyss which is uh abyss is hordes of enemies that you fight and you get crystals from it as a reward as you can see down there in the tab in the bottom that's what you get in the abyss and character trials down here this is basically like as you progress to the game as you get valkyries as you get characters as you build them um, as they get stronger you can partake in this character trials for me my valkyries are still weak i'm about almost 50 days into the game i'm still quite new but i know enough in, in which um i could show you guys the ui and help you guys get started because <laughs> there isn't really much content out there just showing off the basics you know of the ui because that's the in for me that's the biggest struggle to be honest figuring out the ui because it's so huge so in the event events tab this is the events that you can do for you know once you reach a certain level but yep next is the valkyrie so this is the valkyrie tab it just shows how much you can equip your valkyries right this is their weapon it's their name kiana Castellana. this is their title and this is their uh, rank you could level them up down there as you can see and you could evolve them by getting um fragment so evolving valkyries i mean i should i could probably touch up on this a little because i think it's very important to know about it so if you preview it in this game evolving valkyries requires the valkyrie fragments so to get her to double ash rank you need 85 fragments if you click preview right down there right so if you click preview it just shows you all the stuff in there so basically you, you get this puzzle pieces or fragments that you get in the game and you collect them until you can evolve them and your valkyrie becomes stronger so that's basically the grind in this game is like getting your favorite valkyrie really strong 
by getting fragments and there are multiple ways to get them it's just i'm not gonna get into it today um i'm gonna probably talk about a separate video about it regarding um currencies in the game you know just the basic currencies not the high level ones because i'm not 85 so just the basic currencies right but not on this video so yeah so the stigmatist i'm guessing a lot of people that plays that's thinking of playing honkai came from genshin because genshin is has become really popular so basically stigma is you can look at it as artifacts in my opinion so this stuff are artifacts which you could from genshin right so you could click on it right there's a set bonuses down there you could refine it you could change the roles as you can see down here you could change this role you know i don't really like 2.6 hp per second when enemies are nearby i want to get maybe crit damage so you can re-roll it by using these currencies but i mean currencies they're uh, it's pretty huge but yeah it's basically artifacts but you can re-roll them not like genshin <laughs> you know you're stuck with one <laughs> right so yeah so this is basically artifacts the stigmatis are artifacts in genshin that's what it, it's equivalent to now skills you can level up skills uh my character that's the augment one so if you collect this as you can see it's there's up levels right there you can level up their their skills by spending coins that's why i said coins are basically for leveling your valkyries right so yeah you just click up level it up so these are basically valkyrie skills and you can it's mostly level up using coins yeah most of the valkyries are coins so yeah and this is the outfit tab which you could change your valkyries outfit if you have outfits which valkyries i have an example not may here may she has outfits and these are unlockables in the game this is currently you can unlock it in the game but it's a spending event so if you spend stuff in the game you can unlock this and yeah that's for the valkyrie tab equipments um this is a little big tab another big tab up here weapon tab you can forge a weapon when you get to a certain level and salvage is basically salvage destroy a weapon get materials stigmatis this is your artifacts or in this game it's called stigmatis it's basically cars that i didn't actually touch up on it but each stigmatis has set pieces you can get set pieces for them and you get extra um abilities from it extra effect that you can get when you if you get the three of the same types of um of uh, stigmata so in this game it's mainly in my opinion a lot of people are mostly more worried about getting the perfect artifact combinations than the affixes the one that you can reroll so yeah that's the general gist of it so materials material staff i'm not gonna go through it because like as you can see another wall of all the do you see this wall and you have forging here you have event like there, there's just so much stuff to go through with that i can i can put it on a ui video so it's just too much so this is what i was talking about a while ago fragment staff this is where character fragments are so this is basically the copies you need to collect like for a certain amount you get to level up your valkyries this is the fragments in gear this is the gears if you do bounty tasks this is where you get these stuff from the bounties and you create a certain number of them and you can forge stigmatas elves elves are basically the pet that you don't uh, i think you unlock them at level 60 so as a new player you're probably not going to see elves yet so they're really not important as of this moment if you're new in the game so don't worry about it too much so this one augment course are basically certain characters um will have a different form of them which is a stronger form in my opinion of them and this is basically what's used to level them up so yeah i think i yeah that's about for the equipment so next elves i'm not gonna touch on it too much but this is where all the elves are on the left side 
I only have one elf because I'm really, I really don't care. I don't really spend much in this game. <laughs> this, this elf is actually really good. She heals you. So if you if you get the 60, um, and you get this elf, be happy with her. She's really good, and she she doesn't really, you know, a lot of like you don't need elves at all. <laughs> so yeah. So these are the elf. This that's the elf UI. Supply, you know, supply is where the shop is, and this is the shop, the daily, the activity shop, the currency shop, which is this is basically the basic currency. Asteroid is your free to play currency, basically, and Mithril. Mithril is about the same. It's a free to play currency as well, and this is where you can get coins. Is over or also there. Event shop, you can buy event stuff, but I'm not gonna go through the shop right now too much and this is supply this is where the where you pull stuff or you this is where you play the gacha it's third anniversary right so it's it's gonna there, it's it's this event sorry <laughs> uh where you can the valkyries that are up rotates right and you can reset it and you can like pick which valkyrie you want to get so it's not just one valkyrie you can get whoever you want so yeah, you have options. That's why if you're a new player, I really recommend hopping in now before the event ends. Because you get a lot of crystals and a lot of stuff in the game. So yeah, so basically that's the gacha section. And this is where you top up the crystals. As you can see here, right? This is where the crystals are. I mean, I'm not going to go through it because no one's going to spend hundreds of dollars <laughs> in the game. So yeah. And this is basically the event tabs down here as well. So I'm not gonna go through it. This is the lobby where you could go to the event lobby that's been going on right now. Which is obviously you can move around if you want. Uh, this is the event lobby that's going on. So yeah, I'm just gonna back off of that because <laughs> And this is the now this two down here armada. You wouldn't have this if you're just starting out because you armadas are basically clans or guilds in this game. And armada is basically you contribute on the clan, like for like so, and you get rewards down here. And you pick which rewards. And since I'm a selfish asshole, I'm just gonna click the ones I need. <laughs> so. Yeah, basically, this is a clan tab, which if you don't have a clan, it's not going to be that important yet. So there's the dorm. At a certain level, you will unlock this. I'm sorry if I, I can't really recall, but forgive me if I'm wrong. But the dorm unlocks at a certain level. Now, I can't, I'm not sure at which level, or I think you could just access it right away. I, I, I just can't remember. It's been a while. Yeah, but this is basically where you make a dorm. You, you make a house for your Valkyries, right? Okay, there's a house right here. And everyone's just walking around. You can praise them. Oh, you get, she gives you stuff, right? And, oh, look at that face. So you can just uh, pick her up. Oh, you want to go to the sofa? Yeah, you can go there. Right? You wanna, oh, yeah, she's alone by herself. Maybe she wants a friend. There. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, a fun, this is another fun side of the game. It's wacky, but it's fun. They're all Durandal. Oh, she wants to say hello. There. I can just click them. What is going on? Okay, you, you go beside Rita right here. Hey, Rita. Can I click you? Rita! Jesus Christ. Yeah, go beside Durandal. You guys love each other so much. Oh, <laughs> shit. Went off the... So, yeah. So this is basically like a dorm that you can do and you get rewards as you like you saw you just saw there they gave me rewards if I praise them or something like that right one side of the game and in the dorm there's a shop and there's an ex errands and expeditions but I don't want to go through with this because I, I couldn't really remember what everything is like when you unlock dorms but at the beginning, I don't think you could unlock dorms right away. So, I think I've covered most of it and I've given you guys a general context on like um, basically what the UI does. That's about it, I guess, because um, there isn't really much to cover. 
I don't really want to go in depth on the materials right now because it's going to be a well long and winded video. So if you guys learned something, uh, feel free to subscribe, like and share. Thanks so much for watching guys and I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're a new player, hopefully you'll try the game out because in my opinion, the game is really good and it has a well fleshed out story. So hopefully you give it a shot and I'll see you guys in here. Cheers guys.